It doesn't matter what industry you're in. Chances are there's one of your competitors who's killing it on YouTube. Every day, you're enviously checking out their content, albeit with a bad taste in your mouth since you know all you're doing is just giving them more views and boosting their analytics. But you can't help yourself because you're wondering if you could be doing more to match their content production efforts. In other words, are you pulling your hair out considering how often you should post a new video on YouTube in order to generate a meaningful and engaged audience for your brand? Well, the answer to this is actually fairly simple. As much and as often as you consistently can. So what does this mean? If you have the resources to produce a high quality, actionable video every day, that's amazing. If you only have the time to produce one video a month, that's not as ideal, but the key is consistency. If you manage to build and maintain an audience, your followers will come to expect a generally rhythmic publishing schedule, and the YouTube algorithm will reward this. Sure, you might have a busy season where your content production slows down, but it's best to plan ahead for this so you don't end up in a content drought. Let's say you produce 10 videos in the month of December, but you know you won't have as much time in January to create content. Instead of publishing all 10 videos before Christmas, why not schedule five of them for December and five of them for January? ensuring your viewers won't experience an interruption in your publishing rhythm. Another pitfall to avoid is busting out content that doesn't live up to your usual quality standards, just to make sure you don't miss releasing a new video when you normally would. The quality of your work is much more important than frequency. In other words, it's not just about consistency, but about consistent quality. Figuring out how often it's viable for you to produce and distribute videos following a regular schedule might be a bit of a discovery process. You might start out over committing, realizing you don't have the time it takes to shoot and edit a video every day. Or you might find you're actually able to generate much more content because you have an old catalog of longer videos you're able to splinter into short form content. Go ahead and click here if you're eager to learn about short form video and why digitalmarketer.com claims it's the most important marketing tool of 2023. With all this in mind, once you settle on a regular publishing schedule, not only will it begin to build trust with your subscribers, but it will also help systematize your own content production. And speaking of consistency, this video is part of our cheat sheet series. And if you want to watch more videos like this every Wednesday, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. And while you're at it, give us a like and leave a comment. Thanks again for watching.